Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to be messing with assembling my 3.8 liter some more uh yeah i didn't record doing the pistons and installing that and putting the heads on because i didn't really i didn't really want to i just wanted to get as much done as i could that day today's just one of those days where it's just like i don't really care i'll do whatever i mean i don't really have any plans it's it's nice outside now, but it was supposed to be crappy, so I didn't really plan any wheeling trips or anything like that. But yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just chug along on this thing and see how far I can get today. So stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so I have the rest of the parts here. I have this in time. Let me just do this so I can see I got the dot. I have the dot lined up there, and I have the dot lined up right there, and I have... Hold on. I have my arrow right here. I have my arrow right here. So if you guys can see, the arrows right there and right there are lined up. Pretty much, because if they weren't lined up, I'm not sure I could even get the dot lined up here. You guys can let me know in the comments, but... This right here is in time. So now I know that it's in time. Which honestly, it was probably the easiest engine to time because then you have your little you have your little camshaft uh, camshaft pin, which just goes through that hole, and you put your cam sprocket on, then you put your bolt on, you tighten that. Really wasn't that bad, but yeah. So there's that. So now I'm going to probably clean the timing cover surface, put the painted valve covers on, tighten that, put the intake on, and um, timing cover. Do the rear main. And then I can't do the flex plate or the, yeah, the flex plate because it's on the stand, obviously, but. And then the oil pan. But I don't really think there's much left to do on this. I mean, I got exhaust manifolds too, but I really don't think there's that much. So I guess we'll dive right into it. Maybe clean that surface up a little bit. But yeah, not terrible. All right, so I'm just going to go along and just take the razor blade and just try to get like those chunks, if I can get it, get those chunks off and just try to make it smooth so that we all seal better. Like I'm kind of doing right here, but I'm not going to bore you guys with what having you guys, <laughs> camera wasn't lined up, but I'm not going to bore you guys with having you guys watch me scrape gasket material off, so I'll just cut to when I get this all done. And then I also have to rebuild the oil pump, which also not going to bore you guys, so I'll just cut to when that's done, but yeah. Just little things like this are time consuming. Okay, got the timing cover. As you can tell, all cleaned up the best I could. Nice smooth surface. So now on to taking this apart and rebuilding the oil pump. Okay, ready to remove the oil pump. There's the plate. Just take the plate off. This is the first time I did this, so I don't really know. It's actually kind of cool. It's indented and grooved. So you have your little plate here, it looks like. Right there. Oh, it's just oil. It's like, is that metal? <laughs> that's actually not bad. And then that's it. Like, there's no other parts in here, so you just clean that up and... Huh. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, it looks like I'll uh, assemble that and put that together. These, by the way, if you're doing this by yourself, like... They're actually pretty tight, and you need to have a... You need a T27... Yeah, here it is. You need a T27. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but yeah. You need a T27 because a T25, I was putting it on there, and it was, like, just just a little bit loose. Like, where you could tell you could probably bump it up another size, and it felt like I was going to strip them out. So once I put the 27 on there and I put the, um, I put the 3 8 ratchet on that, it, you actually have to put some force into taking these off. Like, you think you're going to break them off, but... You, it's either you break them or you get them out, and pretty much that's how it is on these old oil pump bolts, it seems like. But, yeah, you just got to give your, your force, and you'll break them free. So don't, <laughs> don't feel like you're going to 
like you're going to break them when you break them loose because they are just naturally that tight from just wear but yeah at least i'm happy didn't break that because that would have ruined my day for sure okay so i got the oil pump on and there is a um right here well hold on right here there's a pressure relief valve which i don't have a setup right but there it's like that guy it just sits down in there. You need a self tapper to take that out. I'm not gonna do that today, so I'll probably I'm I'm probably gonna replace that. So I'm probably not gonna put the oil pan on today because I didn't realize that was there. But I'll venture forward at least and see how far I get. All right, just got the timing cover on and um, tightened all the bolts. I have to swap the water pump over from the Wrangler now because that one's old. Don't let the paint fool you. It's actually not new. But whatever and uh by the way also i forgot to say i uh replaced the crank seal because i was already in there and it was easy to do so i just put the valve covers on and tightened the bolts got the bolts in and messed with all that stuff boring stuff got that one done and uh i also forgot to mention i was going to it i put the egr valve on i'm thinking that's in the right spot i didn't pay attention <laughs> when i took it off and i didn't keep track because it's been at the machine shop for a while so Hopefully that's correct. So now I think I'm gonna mess with doing the rear main and um, then the intake and hopefully the intake don't leak cause I know that these like to get pitted. So hopefully that don't happen. And uh, yeah, we're, I'm chugging along nicely. Like it's actually, it's actually going pretty good. I'm probably maybe three hours into it and it's already to this point. So I'd say I'm doing pretty good for the day. All right, so I just got the rear main seal in. As you can see, it's sitting nice and flush in there. Bolts are all tight. It was kind of a pain. Well, actually, not really a pain, but it would be easier if uh, it was on the stand, but, you know, whatever. You'll have that on the big jobs. And uh, <laughs> I also took and installed the harmonic balancer slash crankshaft pulley, just because, I mean, why not? But I'm thinking, I mean, I got, I still got the intake, and I still got the water pump to take off, but... And the exhaust, but we're pretty much, I mean, kind of getting close to the end here. Then I got my accessories and all that, but that'll probably be another day. So I ended up realizing that I have to do the injectors as well, which I tuck out right there. Disconnected them from the fuel rail. I did all of that with it down on the ground, clean the surface the best I can here. I mean, like, it ain't gonna be perfect, but it's at least decent. So, I got that all done. So now I figure I'm going to put the intake in the actual engine, and then bolt that down, and then do the fuel injectors on the fuel rail another day, because I have the fuel injectors. I just realized I forgot them today, so that really sucks. So there's that. But yeah, because now I now I basically realized I have less that I can actually do. But oh well. All right, just got the intake on, and I just took the water pump off, cleaned that surface the best I could. It's it's hard to get that perfect, like like in mint condition. But it's it's smooth. I got it off there. It it's fine. So. There's that. I'm a little bummed I didn't bring the injectors, but once again, can't really be bumming about that. It's whatever. <laughs> All right, well, I um, I tried putting the exhaust manifolds on, and I guess I just didn't have the bolts, because I ordered bolts for it, and I thought they were like 13s or something like that for some weird reason. Well, it turns out that they, uh, they're actually 10s. So I found, I got the bolt, out of this out of the boxes of junk that the guy gave me that he took off the engine so at least i was able to at least i was able to find one of those bolts so now i gotta go and try to source some bolts for this thing so that's gonna be fun but i'm bumming i thought i was gonna be able to get the whole thing done today like completely wrapped up i could have got a lot more far i could have got a lot farther if i brought the injectors but, you know, I didn't because I was stupid this morning. But regardless, I still got a lot done. 
I got the front cover on. The intake is on. Got that all figured out. I got better peace of mind because I was able to check the timing again on this thing because I was second guessing myself. But I showed you guys like it's lined up there. The dots are lined up. I, I even I didn't put it in the video, but um, I rotated it twice. So actually, yeah, let me uh, let me show you guys real quick. Let me get a wrench out and show you that it rotates twice. Just so that way, um, just so that way, hold on, being stupid, okay. Just so that way I can show you guys too that it rotates twice. So I got it over here and you can, you can try to listen. And uh, I can't do it right now, but I actually was able to put my finger in the spark plug hole and kind of like put, let it, have, let it build some pressure up. And I was able to hear compression go um, through the exhaust port. So basically I was able to hear the exhaust valve open like it should and pressure released. So that also means that my piston rings are good because that was another thing that I was seriously worried about with this thing because I just bought... Because I had to get a board 40 over, so I just bought um, the 40 over pistons and I bought 40 over piston rings. I was stupid. I didn't put a feeler gauge on them and put the piston ring inside the cylinder and check the, 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 the ring gap before I put them together. So I just threw the rings on the pistons, put them in there. And this basically is telling me right now that it's probably okay and I shouldn't worry about it because... I'm, I'm hearing compression, so I'm like, if I had no compression, then it probably wouldn't be good. So, that's at least decent. I know I'm stupid, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty good. And, um, yeah, pretty much I'm going to call it a day for right now. Just cleaning some stuff up in my buddy's garage real quick. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about this little series that I started. Like, should I do more? Should I, like, when I do my... Um, my wrenching and stuff on the Wrangler because I know I had it before but I took that stuff down because I didn't really think I did that good of a job but if you guys enjoyed this seriously let me know so I can keep doing stuff like like keep building stuff like this and just doing little projects that you guys can see along the way of my build and the progress going along with it but anyway enough of my rants I'm surprised you guys are still watching to be honest but enough of my rants um if you guys enjoyed it uh I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh stay tuned for the next one. I am losing it today, man. I swear. <laughs>